everyone. Thank you for watching Edubedia World videos. So in this part 5 of our basics of change and transport system, we are going to learn about assignment of development projects to transport layers. Now, in the last video, we have learned that we have two types of routes. One is the consolidation route that is from development to QA and the other one is the delivery route, okay? which can be from the QA to production or production to production or it can be between any two systems other than the source system as development okay or or it can be sometimes when when you have a second development funds a transport is initially created in a development box and moved to another development box so from that second development box to quality then also you can have delivery routes but the source where you know the object is created initially in that development box we have the consolidation route and the other is the delivery route now we have learned an important point that the route the consolidation route it, it belongs to a transport layer right so we are going to learn about transport layers here now at the start of a development project packages are created for repository objects that are to be created as part of the project so whenever you create an object first you have to create a package assign that object to that package now when you create the package you assign it to a transport layer and this package is assigned to a transport layer the sap system proposes the standard transport layer all depository objects that you create in this package belong to the transport layer of this package and are transported according to the routes set up for this layer so the SAP system says like we have you cre you create a standard transport layer so what all new developments you make in the repository area you assign all those uh, objects to this package and assign the package to the standard transport layer now the customizing settings are generally not repository objects listed in the object directory and do not belong to a package this means that you cannot assign them directly to the transport layer the customizing settings are always assigned to the standard transport layer of the sap system in which they are performed they are then transported from the system according to the transport route set up for the standard transport layer so when you come to the customizing settings okay what is customizing data so what all configuration we have in SAP when we make any changes to the configuration of SAP so that is customization okay so this customization or customizing data it's not assigned it does not belong to any package as such okay so now you are assigning packages to transport layers but just customizing settings they don't belong to any package okay but still by default they are always assigned to the standard transport layer of the SAP system okay in which they are performed so generally you you do the customizing in the development and then transport it to the production right so they are by default assigned to the standard transport layer now the repository objects of the SAP standard delivered by the SAP or from the SAP add-on component installed in your system always belong to the pre-installed SAP transport layer now we have some objects which are directly delivered from SAP or from the SAP add-on components okay so these components these objects which are from SAP these these repository objects they belong to SAP transport layer and not the standard transport layer you cannot assign these objects to one of your own transport layers if you want to patch or modify SAP standard objects in your development system SAP recommends transporting these changes along the same routes as for your own developments so now if you make any changes to these repository objects the standard SAP objects okay they belong to the standard transport layer and not the SAP transport layer so our own developments which we make of any reports or functions or whatever 
Next one, the changes which we made to the modifications which we made to the standard SAP objects and the customizing data. All these three, they belong to the standard transport layer and only the objects which are directly from SAP, okay, they belong to the SAP transport layer. So SAP recommends transporting these changes along the same routes as for your own developments to do so. You need to set up the same consolidation route for the SAP layer as for the standard transport layer of the development system. That is, the source and the target of the two consolidation routes must be the same. When a two or a three system group is configured automatically, this consolidation route is created for SAP layer. So that's what. So we have the consolidation route from development to QA. Okay, so we have two transport layers. One is the standard transport layer, that is Zeta, and the other is the SAP transport layer, SAP. Okay, now the objects which are directly delivered from SAP, okay, they go through this SAP transport layer and the modifications of the SAP objects okay next one your own enhancements your own developments and the third one the, the customizing data they move through the standard transport layer okay so that's why initially when the system implementation is done when you lay the transport routes so first you create a transport layer okay so from the development to the QA, we create two transport layers. One is the Zeta, the standard transport layer, and the other is the SAP transport layer. Okay, so the respective objects, they use those respective transport layers. Now, you may think like, why I need a special, see generally like, we customize the data. Second thing is we create our own functions. Okay, and third one is we modify the SAP functions. But in cases like when support packs are being applied, support packs means like you upgrade SAP releases, you know, it's it's the new. Uh, see, basis release we have 7.0, 7.1, 7.2, like that. So whenever SAP it you know gives a new release okay into the market, so you have to download it from the SAP server service marketplace and you have to install it in your system that's what right now ms office we upgrade in our laptop similarly when sap is also producing a new release in the market you have to download it and you have to apply it so for doing so what do you do you download those objects in the development okay these are directly the standard sap objects no changes will be made okay then you transport them so those objects use the standard the sap transport layer not the standard transport layer okay so exclusively sap objects okay they go through this sap transport layer and all other objects any modifications to the sap objects or your own developments enhancements and the customizing which you make they move through this standard transport layer so we have two types of transport layers one is standard and the other is sap so initially when you create the system when you implement the system and you set up all these transport routes and everything you have to set up these two layers okay so these two layers they have the same source that is the development box and the target is the quality system okay so this is about uh, assignment of development projects to transport layers thank you